are you feeling down there, Laz? Uh, confused. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, when they asked me to cover the League of Legends tournament, I assumed it was a basketball game. In terms of what's happening in this clip, I don't know. <laughs> Say that again. Echo trying to defend their nexus with two heroes on respawn and all their CC on cooldown? <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> Welcome back to this madhouse that we call Later with Leon. I'm your host, the Destin Legend, Leon Rogers from 107.5 WGC. I, to my left, the beautiful Miss Tia Ewing. Fox News is in the building. Leon. And my man, man, we've been trying to get him on. Yeah. He finally he saw me at the music time. He said, big bro, I'm coming on. Chance the Rapper in the building. Yeah. Thank you. Good to see you, man. It's always good to see you, and man. You be, and you be... What I tell everybody is, now I, I like to brag on you because <laughs> Thanks, I know, man. you know, like you guys, like you, your your, your little brother, brother yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, I watch where you all come from. You always been humble, but you used to just be straight up. Yo, man, I'm finna be a rap star. And you know, <laughs> when, you know the older guys be like, yeah, all right, man, stay your little ass in school. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I see how you folding them shirts. You don't need a job. And then I look up like two years later, and it's like this phenomenon of chance. How is, I mean... Is it surreal to you sometimes when you get up and look and you can't go nowhere? Yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a cool thing to live in the same city, you know what I'm saying, mm. throughout my career. Like, I feel like that's what's, one, kept me grounded, but two, also let me see what it's like. Because a lot of people, when they, you know, experience success in entertainment, they end up moving somewhere else. Mm. And, you know, like, that becomes a part of the experience. And for me to get to like feel the love, but also actually have to owe something to living here, it's like, it just keeps it real, you know what I mean? SNL, now that skit that they showed yeah. coming in. I like that one, but my skit was the judge. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> type judge that was telling me, you did it, <laughs> boom, like, no. You lose. And, the, and my man that was knocking all the stuff off the table, like oh, yeah, me and my yeah. wife did that at a restaurant recently. We just <laughs> knocked the plates off. It was like, we're floating, we're love. How was that for you? Uh, did you feel like you had to up your game with the improv actors? Like you were trying to, you know, be on the same level with them or was it kind of intimidating? Yeah, man. I mean, well, yeah, it's definitely intimidating because they do that stuff for real. That's their daily job. Uh, but I, I grew up going to this spot called Thunderdome, this little improv in yeah. Chicago. You know, Chicago's the city of comedy, city of improv, and a lot of stuff like that. So uh, just going into it, uh, this is my second time hosting. Yeah. My first time, I wrote a bunch of sketches that made it to the what? show. Yeah, I wrote the Steve Harvey Family Feud joint and uh, this one called uh, Gotham Thanksgiving, too. And it was, it was, uh, it was, it was, but this time I came and I was just like, you know, there's so much going on with the baby and like everything that's going on in my regular life and my real life. And so I didn't really write any sketches, so I was just, you know, Doing reading the comedy. And that's way easier. So I feel like it was it was a little bit of a load off from last okay. time. Your chance the rapper, your chance the comedian, your chance the actor, and then we got to see you as chance the activist, which is always great to see. What made you decide to support the teachers as soon as you came out on SNL? Uh to be honest, it was people asking me, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I, I don't want to take, like, full credit or at all because I, I basically just, I, I was knowing what was going on with the teacher strike. I was knowing that it was getting colder outside and they still hadn't reached a deal. And I noticed that a lot of teachers were personally hitting me up asking me to, to say something on SNL. I'd said something on Twitter prior, but I felt like, you know. That's a big platform. Yeah. yeah, my stage is, is our stage. So I yeah. feel like if I'm, if I'm going to go on Saturday Night Live and be in front of all these people, like, should speak on the people that I try and represent. The, the, you know, to me, CPS is not, you know, the organization. It's the teachers, it's the students, it's the, you know, the aides, Everybody, the social. Yeah. It's the people that, you know, make it work. So basically, yeah, I just wanted to support them. So um, your boy Kanye. Yeah. I love Ye, I love Ye. <laughs> Sunday. That was Sunday a transition, Sunday, wasn't it? Sunday <laughs> service is good. I wish you knew how often people come up to me and they say, Listen, you your, boy, <laughs> your boy Ye. But I think that happens when you're from Chicago. Yeah. They just assume you know everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's real. You know, so Kanye's got a video out with his dad in a new song. Yes. Uh, he's talking about his dad spazzed on him. He spazzed back. How do you feel about this whole transition to gospel, not in the fact that I, I'm glad the brother found something that he can latch on to and get some stability in his life, but how do you feel like when you, when Kanye West is making gospel music, like when you, cause you performed at Sunday service, yeah. I saw you in Chicago with him, you know, it was powerful, but how does that make Chance feel like when you hear it? 
it's awesome to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it's it's hard to explain. Like, all right, so I know Kanye right. really well, right? But only Ball for the alert. past few that years. That was cold right there. <laughs> <how you laughs> did that. Really well. <laughs> but I mean, like, he's he spent a lot of time last year towards the end of the year in Chicago working with me on an album. And during that time, he was, there was a lot of things going on in his personal life. I had just got engaged, so there was a lot of things going on in my personal life. And in that time, while we were trying to make an album, I feel like both of us were going through spiritual transformations. And to see it come, come to, to fruition, this, yeah. it's like, first of all, all right, I believe three things, right? I believe that Jesus is the son of God. Yeah. I believe that Jesus died for my sins, and I believe that he was resurrected, right? These you know you got some old black women in our <laughs> Sad right baby. Yes, yes, Lord. <laughs> the ad lib was on prayer. It's it's a it's a it's a a journey, a crazy walk, especially when you work in the industry that I work in. And to see somebody that I look up to, somebody that I know, somebody that's close to me, somebody that's from the same city as me, do what he's doing at the platform that he's doing. That's amazing. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think is next for Kanye, since you are close friends with him? Are you in works with him on anything, since you guys both sound like you have the same religious beliefs? Yeah, I mean, that's what that's what this whole thing is supposed to be, right? So we're supposed to be like, I'm, I appreciate you guys letting me use this platform. We're supposed to be like <laughs> the body of Christ, right? right? So like, that's what the church is, is all of us linking up. So I just happened to, be working on a show that I'm not supposed to announce, so that's all yeah. I can say. Right. I'm working on a show. Damn, I thought we was gonna get an exclusive. <laughs> I was so yeah. gonna slip up and Mess go find my money. Yeah. I'm doing a show in LA that I gotta stay out there for like a month and a half, and I've been like feeling a lot of ways about it because I got, I just got, I got, a, I got a kid, a new, a new child, and you know, an older child, and I'm staying out in LA. And Ye is actually out there doing a lot of Sunday services now. He's like got a spot at the forum where he's doing shows, I think like weekly now. So it's been like, you know, I don't get to, we don't get to, see, we see each other a lot and we talk on the phone a lot, but we don't get to see each other as much as we probably should. So I think it's, it's just awesome that uh, we're in the same city for a while and I'll be, and yeah, I'm gonna try and link with him. I know, I know, I know I see a difference in Ye because I seen that clip when he told Kim, he said, look, I don't like, you know, when you don't be wearing no clothes. It makes me uncomfortable to my woman. Kim was like, hey, this is what I was on when you met me, so stop playing. And he did what every man that has been broken by his wife does. He goes, okay, oh, and yeah. just walks out. <laughs> are you learning that, like, or are you still in the happy phase, or do have you pick, you pick and choose your battles? Man, I don't know, man. <laughs> now I won't get you in trouble yeah. if you don't pick and choose your battle. I Chance, to pick, pick your shoes yeah. up. Man, I can leave my shoes up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah, I definitely need to learn to pick and choose my battles because you end up arguing over the wrong thing. Yeah. That's over something so small. Yeah. Chance, appreciate you for stopping by. <laughs> yeah. Chance the yeah. rapper, everybody. Not as doing, man. Love you, Positive man. brother. We'll be back. One later with Leon, man. Chance came through. I'm a fish you now, mama. <laughs>